Hi, this is your coach, Joe Lucas, and welcome to this Practice Power Academy podcast. If you're looking at the calendar, you know that the official start of summer is literally days away, and for a lot of us, Memorial Day really starts uh, the fun and games for the next couple of months. With that in mind, I have found in my experiences, there are some guidelines, if you will, on not only to have a great summer, but how not to kill your momentum or your productivity or your pipelines as an advisor during these uh, summer months. So for the time today, what I thought would be really um, valuable, and it'll be a short video today, is I want to share with all of you what I call my uh, Coach Joe's Summer Do and Don'ts. Some guidelines, some protocols, if you will. Okay. So first off, um, and I think this is really important, and I've seen this for decades, uh, for a lot of you, there's this concept that, st that says this. Oh, you know, nobody wants to meet in the summer. Nobody wants to do business in the summer. You know, it's hard to get people to do things. Or, you know, I live in Florida or Arizona and it's too hot to go outside. Nobody wants to do business. And, and here's what I've always responded to that. If that were true 100%, then our economy would absolutely go in the toilet you know, second, third quarter, right? I mean, everything would just stop. Now, in Italy, they take two weeks off as a country. We're not Italy. So what we need to remember is sort of this. If 80% of the advisors or 80% of your competitors believe that you cannot do business in summer and half the market goes on vacation, you are actually in a better position from a business development standpoint, because 80% of your competitors stop, but half your market's still there, right? So think a little contrarian. Test some different marketing, business development. Don't just buy into the fact Memorial Day comes, the weather's nice, and boom, we can't do anything. Which leads me to my second don't. Don't believe that come Labor Day, you're going to magically flip a switch, and boy, I'm just going to go crush it now between now and the holidays. Reality is it's 60 to 90 days from the initiation of a potential opportunity for the revenue to show up in your bank account, if not longer. So if you wait to start your momentum in September, you're already going to be into Thanksgiving before you see any results, if you see the results, right? So what you want to remember is you want to keep things moving forward throughout the summer. And I'll give you some strategies in a little bit about that. But again, don't just sit there and say, oh, I'm just going to hang out and uh, come Labor Day, I'm going to go make things happen. You know, it's, it, it, that costs you hundreds of thousands of dollars. The other don't. Don't believe you can come in and hang out in your office. You know, I'm recording this. It's, uh, it's the first day of the U.S. Open uh, golf tournament here in the United States. And I know some of you are going to have the TV on your office not do a lot of touch-based calls, not do a lot of reviews, not do a lot of things, and you're going to hang out, and if the phone rings, you'll handle it, and you're going to be the total shopkeeper. That is such a bad habit. Never, ever, ever come in the office and hang out. Either crush it or get out. And I mean that. You know, I kick clients out of their office all the time. It's look, go to the movies. Go be with your kids. Go play 18. Go play with 9. Whatever you need to do. It creates such a bad habit, such a bad precedent to sit in your office and just hang. It's like giving yourself permission to go to the gym and not exercise. Like, well, I go to the gym every day. Yeah, but if you hang out, you're not doing squat for yourself, right? Don't fall into that habit. And the last don't, which I think is an important one for a lot of you, don't punish yourself. If you're not having a great year or you're off on your goals or you're just not feeling good about things, you know, don't get in, don't have this martyr syndrome that, you know, I can't afford to do anything and I don't deserve it. So I'm going to come in and, and I'm going to punch. The reality is you're not going to you're not going to grow your business anyway. You're not going to make calls. You're not going to follow up on prospects. You're not going to ask for your You're going to sit there and create even a bigger habit, a bigger pattern, a bigger anchor, a bigger association to the negativity by hanging out. So don't do it, right? Grounding yourself, right, like a child. I'm going to ground myself this summer. I'm not going to do anything. I got I to gotta work all summer. That's a bunch of BS. Because reality is that if that were true, if you're going to work, you wouldn't be in this position, right? So stop, in essence, stop lying to yourself. Get on a different story, okay? So those are some of my don'ts. 
Now, let me give you something to do, some, some strategies I know to work. Number one, maintain your daily discipline, right? So our daily success discipline, our DSD, which means really two things. We keep doing our morning success ritual, and we keep doing our written daily game plan. Just because it gets warm out, and the days get longer, and it's barbecue season, and it's like that, you still work the model. What worked, with you, what worked for you in February, March, or I'll say for most of you, January, right, because we're excited. The strategy you put in place in January are just as valid and effective in June, July, and August as they were in January. So maintain that. Second, do. Take time off. As much as you possibly think you can imagine doing. Even if you don't travel, get out of the office, you know, have a staycation or several staycations. Um, just get out of your normal environment. Now, and I'm not going to give you a, a bunch of guidelines, but for example, the last week of June, the first week of July. If you look at the calendar, 4th of July is the middle part of the week. That's a dead week. Last part of June, June's a long month, two weeks right there. No problem. You will not lose any productivity. The second window, last week of August, first week of September, right, because we have Labor Day in there, another two-week window, no loss of productivity either month. I give you four weeks over the next 12 to take off if you choose to take me up on my challenge. Most of my clients are doing this, including myself. All right, we're going to get away. You need to have renewal time. You, most of you don't know how burnt out you are because you've never been unburnt out. So you have no contrast. And I'm not asking you to spend a lot of money and go on a cruise or go to Europe for two weeks or anything crazy like that. Break the habit. Get out. Give yourself permission. And, and look, if you're sitting there saying to yourself, well, I can't afford to go away. I'm too busy. i got all this going on. If you're too busy and not making money or, or you're too busy and not being profitable, then you have a broken business model. Be honest with yourself and get some help. Don't sit there and say someday maybe or once this happens or, or uh, which I know some of you are now going to say, oh, man, Joe, this DOL thing, it's all, you know, I got to do it. Hey, it'll be there for the next six months. Take your time. Next, do shift your schedule. So in other words, if you, if you, and I've got plenty of clients that do this, they run like what we call summer schedule. Sometimes they'll come in normal time, you know, seven, eight o'clock in the morning, maybe a little later sometime. Uh, a lot of my clients will be out by two or three, or even earlier, Monday through Thursday. And Friday is a strategic day. We don't come in at all. So don't be afraid to play summer hours. I would rather you compress your day into five or six highly productive hours or four or five highly productive hours then sit there and say well the market's open from here to there and so i gotta be here for that because the phone might ring if that's if that's your business model you got a broken model right go out be with the kids go play nine go whatever do nothing right go read a book go do some practice management stuff in, at the park whatever just don't hang out in your office so be be okay with shifting schedule do go out and see your clients. You know, a lot of my clients, you know, they hit the road. They, they go visit clients. You know, they do road trips. Uh, take clients out for, you know, do review, take them out for breakfast or see them at lunch or do a review and then go take them and play 18 holes. Uh, don't be afraid to go hit the road. Go on a road trip. Go take a couple days out. Uh, it will reinvigorate you. It will feel very different and it's cool to do. So road trips, don't be afraid of them, right? And, and I think the other thing too is... Prospects and even some client projects, it's common for people to say, hey, look, I don't want to deal with this right now. I'm going to be traveling for the summer. Can we do this after Labor Day? Fine. But let's tentatively put something in the book now for September, and I will reach out to you in August to verify it. Because what most of you will do is wait till after Labor Day to make that call to get them in your schedule, which are now we're at the end of September, beginning of October, and now the holidays are right around the corner, and you're, and you're squeezing it. Don't do that. I want you to think about summer being the, the time to plant all your business development seeds, all your opportunity seeds. Like we're going to go plant and then we're going to harvest come September, right? So lay the groundwork over the summer. Get, get some very soft commitments from people. You can't force people to see you. You can't force people to take action on you. But what you can do is get con conditional commitments for people to go ahead and take action with you at a later date. So go ahead and do that. And then the last thing I want to say uh, that I would love you all to do is schedule some fun client events. 
And I know some com people with compliance, oh, Joe, we can't, you know, we can't do a fun event, we can't do appreciation event. Fine. Figure out how to educate them. But picnics and pig roasts in the summer, great client events. And I've got, I've got oh, plenty of clients who will do definitely some outdoor activities or a ball game, right, or a river cruise or a sailing thing. I mean, a lot of different ways to get out there and, and include your clients and guests, right, and some of your key prospects in those, uh, we call them client hybrid events. Great ways to kind of move things forward, take advantage of the weather, you know, take advantage of the summer psychology, right? And, you know, where that summer psychology comes from, by the way, if you're all curious about this, is growing up as children, what was summer to us? It was what? The lack of school, right? It was vacation. It was fun. It was camp. It was baseball. It was all these things. And as we got to become adults, we had to modify that. But deep down in our memory bank, in our psychology, is still that concept of summer is different than the rest of the year. Embrace it, modify your approach, get out, have fun, be successful, and you will reap all the benefits in your business, not only now, but in September, October, November, and December. And just remember, I do this because I want to give back to our community, and you know, we sponsor this through Practice Power Academy. If you haven't become a member, number one, it's free. There's nothing. I mean, and it's an open book. There's 300 hours of my materials available to you. All you got to do is head over to practicepower.net, one word, and claim your membership. Totally free. No hidden tricks. Have a great week. Figure out your summer plan. Enjoy. And I can't wait to see you again very, very soon.